neat equation here to deal with. x cubed minus 3x squared y plus y squared plus 1 equals 0. I have no idea what that would look like, but uh, we can still find the equation of the normal to it. First of all, we need to show that dy by dx is this. All right, let's give it a go. This is going to involve implicit differentiation. So basically, we've got an equation. We're going to differentiate each term. First up, we just get 3x squared. And then I'm going to differentiate this. So I'm going to put the minus in and then differentiate the 3x squared y. I'm going to need to use the product rule for this. So I'm going to differentiate the... I'm not going to write it down formally, actually. I'm just going to go for it. 3x squared is going to give me 6x. Okay, that's that term. And I'm going to just times by y. That's my u dash... Is it, okay, I'm going to write it down a bit formally. That is my u dash b. And then I'm going to add, because I'm adding, because I've got the minus on the outside, 3x squared, that's my u. It might, it might be that you normally write it u b dash plus u dash b, I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. It's just differentiate this term times by this one, then the plus this term times by the derivative of this one. Absolutely fine. So we get 3x squared, and then it's going to be dy by dx when we differentiate y. Okay, on to y squared. Now I need to use uh, the chain rule. So I'm basically going to use a chain rule. It's kind of, we refer to it as now the inside-outside rule or outside-inside rule. We differentiate sort of the function as, as y squared. That just becomes 2y. And then we differentiate the thing here, the y part. And so we get 2y times dy by dx. Okay, very important basically to really differentiate y to the n implicitly you get n y to the n minus 1, just like, you, just like you do when you're differentiating x, but then you just times by dy by dx as well. I'm not going to go into any more detail on that right now. And then I differentiate 1, which gives me 0. I differentiate 0, I get 0. And here we go. We've got an equation involving dy by dx. So it's already looking pretty good because you can see lots of these terms are in there. I just need to make dy by dx the subject. So first up, I'm going to get rid of that bracket going to do a minus. Now the question is, do I add the dy by dx terms to the right hand side or do I do the other ones? And because I've got basically, look, I've got 2y minus 3x squared there. So it's already looking in quite good form. So I'm not going to do anything with that. Instead, I'm going to write it as 2y minus 3x squared. Factorize it out dy by dx and then add 6xy onto both sides and minus 3x squared on both sides because this is just, just one step away from being given, given us the answer. Okay, nicely done. Note, if you couldn't do part A, sorry, let me do that a little bit neater can do part a it doesn't stop you from doing part b because they've given us the derivative okay so don't give up on these questions if you are struggling find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point one two all right let's just i mean i don't know what this curve looks like let's just imagine it looks like that so i could draw a tangent to this curve and this tangent would have exactly the same gradient as the curve at the point in question so first up, let's look at the point one, two. dy by dx is going to be 6 times 1 times 2 minus 3 times 1 squared all over 2 times 2 minus 3 times 1, which gives 12 minus 3 over 1, so I get 9. And that is actually the gradient of the tangent. It's not essential you write this down, I'm just writing it down, because I think this is the sort of thing that should be running through your mind as you do this question. Gradient of the tangent at 1, 2. So this leaves us with the normal. Now, the normal is the line that is then at right angles to the tangent. So 
it's perpendicular to the tangent and it and its gradient will be the negative reciprocal and that's that's the key thing that we need So negative reciprocal is minus 1 over 9. The two of them multiply together to give minus 1. And we're pretty much there now because we can use a tried and tested y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Gradient point form of a straight line. And substitute in 1, 2 and this minus 1 over 9. So y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 over 9 x minus 1. Now I'd be tempted to be honest to just leave the answer like that because that is the equation of the normal and it doesn't say to leave it in any particular form but the answers did expect it to be simplified slightly so I'd say from an exam technique perspective do, don't just leave it like this. I'm going to multiply through by 9 so 9y minus 18 is equal to minus x minus 1 which is just uh, minus x plus 1 we're pretty much there. 9y plus x is e uh, minus 19 is equal to 0. I think you, you know you could always write it in the form y equals mx plus c. That would be OK. Or this 9y plus x equals 19. Just uh, maybe not this. Just because there seems to be an extra mark for simplifying it. That's the main reason I say. OK, brilliant.